The singleton design pattern provides a solution for the following problem. How to ensure that a class will be instantiated only once. In other words, how to ensure that when we work with a given class, the class won't be instantiated more than once. So in all cases, we shall deal with the same object, one and only object. In order to implement singleton, we can define in our class the constructor with the private access modifier. The outcome? It is not possible to instantiate inventory in the normal way. It won't be possible to do new inventory outside the scope of this class. In addition, we shall define a static method that once someone invokes it, he receives in return an object from the class inventory. This static method uses a static private variable, make sure it is private as well, for holding the one and only object instantiated from this class. So when we call get instance, it first checks whether the static variable in this case its name is single, already holds a reference for an object. If not, then it is assigned with a reference for a new object and then it is returned. The reference for the new object is returned. The next time we call get instance, get instance checks the variable, finds that it already holds a reference for an object and returns it. Therefore, when we check this code sample, we shall get the variable OBA and the variable OBB assigned with the same reference for the same object and therefore this will be the output. Now if we check this code sample, as you can see, this is the output.